Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Right, okay, I was going to do um, another book reading this week, but I was really struggling to read anything aloud. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is, but it's probably a combination of my jaw issues and my fibro brain but I just kept stumbling over every single word and I just couldn't get any flow with it and I just got frustrated and I decided that I'm not going to do that. So. <laughs> um, so because I don't want there to be only one video this entire month, um, I'm going to do a vlog instead. <laughs> I, do, I do sort of remember a time when that was like the main thing that I do on this channel, but yeah. Um, so uh, I was planning on reading a little bit of Toby from one of the early scenes, by one of the early scenes, like literally the second half of the first scene, um, I think is what I was sort of aiming for, so part of the opening of the book, because uh, obviously Toby is my latest release and uh, Rowan is coming out fairly soon at this point as well, so I wanted to do a little bit of reading to sort of try and drum up a little bit of interest in Toby because, you know, Toby's, in my opinion, a pretty decent read, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm sort of in that phase that I get into after every new book release where I'm like, I am no good at this marketing side of things, and I wish I was better at it because, like, I mean, I hope I'm not being arrogant in thinking it, but I'm confident that I'm a fairly decent writer. I'm not a perfect writer. Like, I don't think there's such a thing as a perfect writer. Um, I know full well that some of the choices I make stylistically with my writing will probably annoy certain people um, who have like this very kind of, oh, but you have to follow all the rules, blah, 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 but that's not what writing is. Writing is a creative art form and, you know, an individual writer can have their own way of using the, you know, what the tools and whatever that are at hand and creating something that is very much of their style. And yeah, you, I get it. Not everybody's going to like everybody else's style and that's fine. Um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not a decent writer and that I can't tell a decent story. But my problem is that I can't market anything. So <laughs> I end up in this position where I have these fairly decent books out there that usually get fairly well reviewed when they do get reviewed um and nobody reading them because nobody knows they exist and um like always i don't know how to remedy that situation because there are lots of things that i could do i'm just not very good at doing any of them <laughs> at least it's not a case of i'm not very good at doing any of them it's i'm not very good at figuring out which ones I could do and and doing those and then I'll sort of like look around for things that I could use and then I'll get frustrated because it either won't do all the very precise things that I want it to do or I can't figure out how to get it to work the way that I want it to work or whatever else so I then just don't bother doing it and I then end up in the same situation that I am where I'm still not marketing my books um and I need to do better at marketing my books. I know I need to do better at marketing my books, but it's hard when you're on such a tight budget with everything. Um, I don't really have the money at the moment to be throwing it at marketing things if I don't know that it's going to work or if, you know, I know from experience it's not going to work. Um, and it's like one of those, as I said, one of those situations where if you don't have the finances and I don't have the finances, it can really work against you when you're sort of uh, at an early stage in the indie <laughs> indie writer life. Um, I mean, I know I'm not at a, like a total early stage. I do have a lot of work out there and I am just going to keep going with my current strategy. I just know that I need to figure out ways of marketing a little bit better, which is why doing a book reading would have been a really good thing to do I just I can't read things aloud um I got really lucky when I was doing the two readings that I did for the Halloween ones where I just managed like I, I fluffed a few things so you can sort of like see it as a bit of janky editing to try and um, get around those bits 
but I got really lucky that both those times I sat down, I could actually get the words out sounding like actual words and not like messing up every third word and so I was able to get into a bit of a flow. I was able to do a little bit without um, messing up and then like the mess messing up was like few and far between. I don't normally get that lucky and I don't know if it, I don't know what made like so much of a difference, whether it was filming it in a slightly different location, whether it was having an actual paperback rather than my phone, because I don't have any paperbacks or Kobe. Um, it is all KDP, not KDP. Um, it's all Kindle exclusive. Um, and like part of the reason that um, the books that I've just released are, I think, going to remain Kindle exclusive uh, for uh, for the foreseeable future. Partly because I know I don't make paperback sales. Um, print on demand is not the best way of making paperback sales if you are struggling to make sales anyway. Um, but not only that, it's um, yeah, I, I, there is a part of me that's like, I don't really think the future should be heading towards more paper books. I think the future should be heading towards more digital media and more digital content uh, because that then, you know, it's slightly better for the environment. Um, obviously, you know, it's, there, there's going to be a certain style for certain things and there's a certain tangibility to having like a physical thing in front of you um but at the same time i i do prefer digital media um because it, i feel like there's less packaging waste there's less waste in general um it's less destructive in general because you know you, you've got like this one device and everything can then go onto that device and i i, I am a big fan mm -hmm. of digital content and digital media um, for those reasons anyway so um that's like part of it and as i said the other part of it is like i don't make the sales there anyway um and i know it's print on demand so they don't like have uh backlogs of them anyway but even if you know um even if it was that was the case i would still sort of like yeah i, I would rather just keep it digital that's not saying that i'm going to um like the the thing is is you can't just because like i do have um obviously the the two um filmmaker sons books and echo with the paperback versions and even sort of like removing those it doesn't like fully remove those and it's like awkward and, and difficult because like they'll say oh but blah 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 might have some in like backlog so we can't like remove its existence so it's kind of like well okay it's print on demand it's not like there's anything physically printed might as well just leave that there as an option um, so it's not as bad as it seems, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, at this point, I kind of wish, like, they had just, <laughs> they were just digital copies. Um, so I do tend to sell more digital copies than I do physical copies, so, like, for, for me, from, from that point of view, it's kind of like, yeah, there, there's not, there's not as much of a market in, like, where I'm sitting from doing the paperback copies and I prefer the digital media anyway so this is getting very tangenty and I do apologize um but yeah I don't know what what it was on those couple of days um where I was just able to like sit down and just sort of like do those two and have very few issues with the actual reading aloud because as soon as I started sitting down to do this one I was like literally I couldn't get through a paragraph and I just got frustrated and I just got to a point where I was like, I don't, I don't want to do this, um, which isn't usually how I feel about trying to read things aloud, um, I do find it a very frustrating process, I'm not very good at doing it, and as I said, I don't know if it's just a, a case of, like, my brain is a little bit more fibro today, or, like, my jaw is, like, doing something, which is just making it harder for me to get words out there, but I was literally just tripping over the same few words, and I just couldn't get my brain to figure out how to say them, and I, yeah, <laughs> I, I figured I should just give up at that point, um, but yeah, it's, it's frustrating, because I feel like the, the book readings, if I was able to sort of get a bit more consistent with them, might help encourage interest in, in my writing, but I'm also at the point where I'm like, I'm not sure how to get anything to work, and it, yeah, it's, it's that sort of, that side of being an indie author that can be very frustrating, which is 
when you know what you've got is good and again not perfect but good um but you can't figure out how to get people to read it because you're not very good at marketing and you're then in that sort of position where it's like I don't know what to do in order to rectify the situation and then when you try to do something it's like nah I'm not gonna let you do that because body stupid and whatever else so yeah enjoy this nice lamenting sort of vlog instead I guess <laughs> all right that's all I kind of want to say today um I can hear my voice is a little bit grating, and I'm wondering if maybe that's part of the reason why I was struggling to read aloud <laughs> Maybe it's my body going, no, you don't need to do any of this stuff. Not good. Um, anyway, I hope you found this one sort of interesting. Um, I hope you're looking forward to seeing my monthly roundup at the end of the month. Uh, There's probably not going to be a video between that this one and that one. And I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others. And if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.